Hey guys, it's me, Pikmin Master123 here with another video, and today we are going to be playing Particle Fleet Emergence. And now we left off last time on playing uh, Mission Number Four Insanity, and now we are going on to Number Five, which is Evidence. Destroy all enemy structures. Evidence. Can I act on it? Etc. Etc. Evasive acts in the system is filled with hostile emitters. I detect two particulate emitters that are different than the others. Oh, must be talking about these ones. Um, a no threat prediction made by your simulation. Benign and won't damage your ships, annihilate other p So I can use this to kill these. What they're saying. And how can this be possible? Not how to make them or why they are here. Um, theoretical, but here they are. Okay, that's interesting. So, what we have to do right now is set up um, this, our defenses, really, really. So, the first thing we want to do is get another lave out. And then, we're probably going to want a destroyer. So, looks like we have... Two normal ones, one that's just a very long straight line of it, and then one that's a group of four. I think that this one, however, might be level twos. And yes, I have looked into the settings a little bit in this game, so. It looks like these two are making um, defenses. I'm trying to get this destroyer out as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want it to defend the top zone. This one looks like it defends itself. Field manipulation mon module on the ship. Designed to push benign particulate. How could it be in the database? Okay, looks like they've hidden secrets. Okay, so it's called a grabber ship. A fire stream of the this at the enemies is what I think they're saying. If so, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, I'm gonna wanna move this guy over to this side because we are not doing good at all. There. Yeah, that guy's under attack. Actually. And we might, yeah, we're gonna need this grabber. Now it depends on where we wanna use it on first. I think I'm gonna wanna use it, build it right here. So, this line I'm, is what I'm guessing, sends it straight towards uh, the enemy. The, when I mean the enemy, I mean the red particulate, I think that's what it's called. But uh, looks like we have another cruiser, info, Another one of these grabbers, and that looks to be an Omni. Okay, that is pretty powerful. Start moving it over here. Get this out of here. Get it, get it over here, doing stuff.
Okay, it looks like we're defending for right now. Another Omni has been added to the license database. At this rate, we will soon have quite a force. If only they could be used for purposes other than miring and laving. Yeah, that would be pretty good if we could use it for other reasons. But, um, I'm gonna just getting this sip out is because it has this little laser cannon at the front. It's sort of like a passive attack buff. Another cruiser has been added to the database. Okay, that's good. If I'm correct, if one of these blue particles hits this, I think it gets destroyed. Yeah, I want to start trying to get this grabber so I can have it aiming here because that's the only other real problem. Like this one I can deal with, but this one down here can be quite a problem soon. Like that. It may be very weak and not able to like do anything, but... That is not good. Not good at all, not good at all, not good at all. Like I said, it's very weak, but that doesn't mean it can't do anything. Okay, it looks like a laser. We might have just enough to defend against it. Okay. Okay, now we can move this back and let's make this other one aim straight for their emitter. So right now our left side is what's having trouble, about a lot of trouble, so. I think I'm gonna start building more of these Omnis so I can take over this zone. Um, the blue particulate, by the way, also gives, like, this background stuff. It spawns that in. Which is good. And then it can also, um, take over land. As you can see right there. Which is very useful. Um, the main re- So this is a little bit weaker version. It's the same as this. They're weaker. These are stronger. At least these darker ones. And then, um... Same here. So I think all of these are level 2. Yeah. But as long as we can hold here for right now. Probably going to use these guys to take over this land. Because if we can take over this little land area over here. Um, that would really help us. The bad part is there are these right next to here, which are going to slow de us down from getting that land. Right now it looks like we have enough to hold off here. I'm going to sit in this and start taking over this. Oh, it looks like it's over that Enemy Mire is what I think it was called. So we can't take it over, but um Yeah, it looks like right for right now we got this entire area covered. We can even like push up this way a little bit. And we can also push up this way a little. Thanks to our supportive like I want to say creep, but it's actually particulate this um i lost 
matches the signals they were looking for. Okay, so they're talking about the origin world again. And now they say they have evidence, etc, etc. So it might have been true. So, if it says privately to someone, that means it's an individual conversation, like whispering, but uh, yeah, this doesn't sound good. If they have defeated uh, people with greater technology, what is that going to accomplish? But um, give us an advantage, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to try and take this little platform right here. Because that'll help us attack straight for their emitter. Um, I'm gonna pull this guy down here too. And also pull down the destroyer. I wanna try and get make it so that I'm protected by the blue stuff right here. Yeah. Also if the blue comes close enough to that. It turns red for whatever reason. Maybe it's because like this is a concentrated like amount of red stuff, plasma. Or I want to say plasma, but it's particulate. Also, different than Creeper World, uh, if you attack their emitters or their spawners, they actually spawn in more. In Creeper World, however, uh, the Creeper would spawn in less. That's one li little difference that I actually like about this game. <laughs> I want to build this back up, but uh, yeah, right now it looks like we are beating the AI right now, and um. This series I'm gonna save for last because there's not really anything going on there. Like there's doesn't seem to be a point for actually taking that over. I'm gonna leave that guy there. So the next thing we have to push towards is this emitter. There we go. And I also want to spawn in, like, make as much of this uh, mire as possible because that actually makes it so we produce more energy. So this is almost done. Yeah, th it's fully up now. And this is almost fully up. Then we can use it to get on these little land platforms. I have a pretty good. Uh, distance right there that they can sue at the uh, enemy particulate uh, you are gonna stay here I'm gonna have all these guys slowly make like a little push and then get this uh, one over there too Okay, we want to get close enough that we can... Looks like we can take it out from here and turn it to our side. Okay, it's ours now. We uh, just have to defend it. Um, it's taking some pretty heavy fire, though. Start moving all of these up. Get this over here. The reason I'm doing this is so I can uh, attack it from a far away distance while having this nice region because of my uh, energy mine here. 
So now I want to clear out the rest of the red particulate out from on over this part of the map. To start moving my guys so that we can take the fight to this area next. So it looks like we take, have taken over like half the map, more than that. These early missions are very easy compared to um, the later missions. I know a little bit about the later missions, but not that much. I've also known about uh, some of the stuff that might appear later on because of uh, the missing editor, which I unlocked earlier. So I can start building like my own little custom missions, but it I have not beaten my own mission yet. I it has like 25 saves for a reason on there. I've just been saving it, and I've gotten to a point where I'm almost beaten it, but I haven't finished it yet. Which might be bad for anyone who tries to beat it, but I will say the name of the mission if any of you guys want to check out this game, play the missions. So it looks like we're attacking these ones, which are like little squares of uh particulate so that's this should be shouldn't be that hard just not really a way to attack that other one by land though i'm gonna start moving my main ship down here so that we can start taking out the rest of them these areas on the map Oh, that should reach right there. That should reach. Okay, I'm gonna go here with my ma main zip, the corporate HQ. Um, you'd think if this was your main zip, and if this was your like only primary thing to defend yourself from, it would have more weapons on it. Surprisingly, it does not. Okay, looks like we can turn these guys to deal with um, this big mess down here. Also, this blue stuff, like I said, it can change the land to your team. But if land's already changed, and I believe it's if it's like one floor, aka this stuff right here in the middle, that it will um turn they can go over it at least in the missing editor they can Okay, we can now start pressing on to this area. Uh, one interesting thing that I like is how these, if like attacked really close, they will try and like go for it, but then they are sort of stopped by just the map itself. By this little gravity area here. I think that's a very nice touch from the creators. And then how it's like, right now, they're not joining these ones right here, aren't just joining the gravity well. They're just uh, 
doing what they do right now. I, I think that's very interesting. Nice little touch they did. And the fact that it that the blue ones do the exact same route is also very cool. Also, I like how the blue ones, if they go over this, it actually counteracts the uh, red. I don't remember what they call this, but it counteracts the red stuff and then it puts its own on top of it. But it does not delete it, is what's interesting about that. But you can delete it for them. But yeah, these early missions, they're like all about teaching you how to play the game, the basics, etc, etc. But it is a really interesting game idea. Um, not many games are like this. It'd be really fun to like play a game similar to this again. Um, we have obtained evidence, first, our first evidence of the origin world, but something else is also very clear. Um, the particular is it some kind of accident that destroyed the precursors structured to reactive made for a purpose. The Galactic Corporation keeping a secret for centuries, millennia. Um, even House of Braxis held it. He held them in high regard. Interesting. House of Braxis is dead and gone. Nothing remains other than stories when we heard when we were children. Okay. There are a lot of early times here. Now there's only one way that I think these guys could even get these times. Going straight for the land here and here to destroy the emitters and then the other two probably just flying in a lave to attack it but I think that's the only way they could really beat that um, our next mission is called strength so for now guys I just wanted to do a short quick video for all you guys and we'll, I'll, we'll see you next time when we play stress.